Hi, I'm Mika Mitchell with Lone Star College Kingwood Library Services. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find newspaper articles, uh, journals, magazines, and then from those publication types, we'll actually go in and either browse or look for articles based on the date and other ways, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is start off with the Lone Star website, lonestar.edu. And on the white toolbar, you will see libraries second from the top list. And so once we're on the libraries page, you're going to scroll down to the bar underneath the slideshow that says library databases. So we have a ton of different databases and this particular one that I'm going to take you to connects to all of them. We've got these three buttons. So you can go through all of the databases. You can look at our database trials, but the one in the mental, middle is what we're going to look at. So we're going to look by publication type. So what I mean by that is we're looking for the New York Times or Wall Street Journal or The Economist or maybe it's Journal of Sociology or whatever, right? We've got an authentication page. By doing that, you use your library barcode number. And so you can either type that in. And because this is a system-wide database, so all the libraries have access to it, you can use your My Lone Star username and password, which is underneath it. That will not work if you're using a campus-specific one. So Kingwood has a number of those. It's just to be uh, something to be aware of. But for today's video, it works just fine. So once you're logged in, it will kind of look like this. So if you ever hear a librarian refer to Full Text Finder, that's what we mean. We're looking for the publication type first and kind of going backwards in finding an article. You can browse by type, but I know specifically, and for this example in the video, I'm going to use the New York Times. So I'm going to type in the New York Times. So it comes up with a list of results. So we've got um, an online version. There's upfront, which is part of the educational feature. They've got magazines, videos, book reviews. For the New York Times, I know I just want the newspaper, right? <clears throat> um, so underneath it, we've got um, some access information that you don't really need to know. Just know that it exists. Um, that's really library librarian stuff. Um, but you do want to go to the full text access list. That should be opened up. So you can see here we have four different databases listed, Gale in Context, Opposing Viewpoints, and the date range next to it is how much of the collection of New York Times we have. So in Opposing Viewpoints, we have it from January 1st, 1985 to present. Gale in Context Science, same date range. New York Times ProQuest is actually from 1980 to present. And I'll just let you know that this New York Times ProQuest and the US Major Dailies is the exact same thing. Um, just because I've played around with it, I know that. But just know that sometimes that can happen. So I'm going to click on US Major Dailies. It may ask me to sign into another one, and that's just because it's a different company that houses the collection. So we're going to ProQuest and we were in EBSCO. Now we're into our ProQuest US Major Dailies database collection. Where it's going to take you is the publication information. That's sort of all the bibliographic details about this publisher. You can copy the URL if you just want to share it with your peers. You can create an alert so that anytime the latest thing is published and available in ProQuest, you can go there and it'll pop up in your email. And similarly, you can use an RSS feed. I'm going to scroll down on the page and you can see 
it's giving me today's date. And all these articles listed are from today, which is really cool. Um, not every interface does this, but we can always go by playing around with the date. So maybe the year, the month, and the specific day. So you can browse that way. Um, or you can just search the entire New York Times or publication for something that you're looking for specifically. So I'm just going to do a search and see what comes up. So we've got our list of results just by searching the New York Times and COVID-19. And it's by relevance, as you can see. I can change it to I want the most recent article. And so the first one was July 2020. Now we're October 7th, 2020. You'll see here, this is a review. This is from the Arts and Culture Desk. This article is from the Business and Finance Desk. So it's really important to take a look. This one is an op-ed. So it's somebody who has sent in their, uh, an opinion piece that has been published by the New York Times. This one is a biography. So it's really important to pay attention to those things because maybe your instructor is telling you you need an actual article. Okay, so Arts and Culture Desk is going to give you an article, but it's from the perspective of alt arts and culture. If you need business and finance or national news or foreign news, okay? So just pay attention to those things as you're reviewing it. Maybe you can want to change the range of information. So in the last 12 months, if it weren't COVID-19 that I was giving you an example for, it would make more sense. But it really depends on what you're searching for. Those little limiters could be really useful. So that's it for this video. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask us. Ask us anything. We're here to help. Have a good day.